Hi guys, happy Friday. How's everybody doing? How am I doing? I haven't been around since for, it's only been I think like a week, but to me it feels like months. <laughs> uh, I have my water. And let me be honest with you and tell you that this summer, I have not been so good with my water. This summer I have not been so good with a lot of things. And we're gonna talk about that now. So get your water and settle in because Nita's going to tell her story. And Nita's going to hope that it helps her to tell her story. How's everybody doing on the program? I have not been watching my YouTube because when I have my boy home, I try not to have my head buried in my iPad, even though I am still very guilty to a degree. But as far as watching all my buddies, I'm behind on how everybody's doing. Today is weigh-in day. Now, up until today, I have just been pretty much maintaining up a pound, down a pound, up a pound, down a pound, maintaining. I've been maintaining, and that is for a few reasons. Uh, I have had a lot going on in my life. Okay, here comes the excuses. They're not excuses, they're facts. And I'm going to tell you what's going on and what I'm going to do about it, and like that. We have the whole thing with the babies coming. Uh, you know, that that's a big, that takes a lot of headspace for some of you guys. I don't know if you realize it, but it's a mind blower, okay? Well, then on top of that, I get diagnosed with this psoriatic arthritis. I had the worst flare-up I've ever had in my life that was either extremely painful or extremely itchy. And while this is going on, my joints and my body hurt, okay, so I'm feeling crappy but I'm still tracking I'm still tracking all my food knowing what to eat doing my thing but then when we get to the evenings now also it's summertime and what do we do during the summertime well we, we relax and we chill and we celebrate and we take it easy and Anita's head what does that mean that means we sit on the balcony with our loved ones and we talk and while all of us having orange juice, Nana's having wine, or maybe a different kind of cocktail, and Grandpa's having his margarita. Am I walking? No, it's too hot to walk, and in all fairness, this is the one thing that drives me nuts. I don't mind the heat. I'm like an amphibian. I, I don't mind the heat. But getting him to walk with me, or it, it's impossible. He doesn't like it. Okay, so so what do we have going on so far? I'm tracking, but uh, I'm drinking, and that's where all my weight comes from. I've always been completely honest about that because I can keep my food under control. But another thing I noticed I was doing the other night, which I have always been very, very good about, is my BLTs. And I was making Steve's lunch, and I was popping in an Oreo here and there, and I never do that, you guys. When I'm on plan, I'm on plan. But first of all, I want to go back and say thank you to Denise's Dish With D collab. And let me tell you why. And please listen to this. And I hope any of the gals who are in the collab, collab hear this. I was invited to the collaboration, but I couldn't do it for a couple of different reasons. But I did watch them. And a lot of them touched on how many times they've done Weight Watchers. Some of them have done it you know, one, once or twice. Some were like multiple offenders. And they just ticked off a box in here for me listening to all their stories that it's time for me to stop this mucking around and get back on track. And all of their stories were very helpful to me because I didn't want to get that far gone where I have gained all my weight back and here we got to go do the whole thing again. It was very helpful ladies and I thank you very much for all your candid, honest, really wonderful stories. Success stories. And you know what? My story is a total success story. I lost 50 pounds, no problem. And then I started, I gained some back, my, my problem. For, you know various reasons usually involving alcohol because <laughs> I like it <laughs> um, so in the evenings when it's not 180 degrees out when I get anxious and that's usually when my anxiety hits 
I put on the tennis shoes and I walk. I haven't been doing Just been it. like, ugh, no, I'm not gonna walk. I'm gonna pour a glass of wine. So we'll have that wine on top of the psoriatic arthritis because that's gonna help that, right? That's a good choice, Anita. <laughs> and it's a good choice for your weight loss. So I just have been making really crummy, conscious choices. Because what I was saying to myself is, okay, Anita, just keep tracking because you're doing good on your tracking. Um, don't worry about the walking because you lost all your weight not having any exercise anyways. Because if we're our own self-saboteurs, we can justify anything, those of us on a weight loss adventure, right? And on April 13th, the day Oliver goes back to school, we're going to knock off all this poor behavior and get back on the wheels of the bus that go round and round. Nope. It's happening today. I'm starting today. I am going to walk today. I'm going to, I, for those of you who might have missed it, I have a brand new bike. It's the prettiest thing you've ever seen in your life. Every single day, I'm going to either walk or ride or both. Maybe throw in some swimming. My activity is going to come back because I am feeling better. I have had no energy with this whole, excuse me, casting alert, casting alert, bullshit going on. It's painful. It's just horrible. But today, we're starting over. I did weigh in today, you guys. I did weigh in and I was up not one, not two, but three pounds. <laughs> okay, enough. The maintaining I, I could have handled. I can handle the maintaining. But I am not gonna let this get so far gone that I have to I'm start. I'm not gonna let this get so far gone that I have to start back at 219 pounds. Nope. So Today is, boom, the reset button. I have never, ever claimed to have hit the reset button. I'm claiming to hit it today. So it's a brand new day. It's a brand new month. Today's the second or the first, right? So August, here we go. And I'm gonna get rid of the weight and get back to my 50 pounds lost and back to being able to wear all those cute shirts in my closet that haven't been fitting over my belly. And we're gonna do this. You guys in there with me? Also, this is gonna be going all day long. Now, it's going all day long, but it just hasn't been going all day long. And another thing, you know, what's really a drag is people say, and this is where I've had a problem with agreeing and disagreeing with folks on the Weight Watcher plan. You can eat anything you want, just track it and keep going. That's not true for me. I've had pizza all tracked. Um, what else have I had? Mainly pizza. I can't, I can't eat pizza again every single time. I track every single point for it and it just doesn't work with my body. It just, it's pizza and alcohol that are the two things. That I'm pretty sure if I just left out of my diet altogether, I'd have no problems. So I'm here to say the past is the past. No more maintaining. Even though I'm still having some pain and some itch, I've got to move on because it's what we've got to do. So I hope you guys are going to jump in here with me. Keep me, you know, I've had so many letters and, and PMs and stuff like that from people saying, Nita, you don't know it, but man, you motivate me. And I read those letters. I have them all in a drawer over there. I'm going to show you in a minute. I read those letters. And I just think, how could I possibly, how, how? And now I'm gonna ask in reverse. I need you guys to motivate and support me. I need it. I need it. Ugh, my hands itch. There's another thing. I've been having to take a Benadryl for this gosh darn itching and we all know what Benadryl does. It makes us little. So walking or swimming or any of those things just, I did take a bike ride with Oliver one day after a Benadryl. But, uh, so yeah, we're, enough. Enough is enough, right? I'm gonna show you guys my drawer. Oops, bed's not made, because we just went to our meeting. I didn't even stay for the meeting, I just waited. in. Say I have all my water over here. This drawer, hopefully there's no addresses. All the letters all the things as I scan around I'm doing this because I'm hoping 
that you guys will see that I surround myself What's she doing up here? With patty whack love every single day. So help a pal out guys, okay? Day one, part two. Something like that. We are all together. Gonna drink our water know where our bathrooms are and one thing too is i haven't made any videos because it's hard to carry the camera with this hand i'm going to find a way to do it we're going to do some videos we're going to have some fun we're going to get back into the groove of things and nita is going to dive not dive crawl out of her pity party of life life happens babies turn up illnesses happen and i'm going to overcome all that now and get back on the train love you guys Let's go.